You have the two of swords. So this could be like avoiding something. Something is like something is not being seen. Um, this could be a lie. This could be something was covered up. Or somebody is just not seeing something correctly. You have the Empress. This could be a mother figure. This could be somebody that's older. Maybe this person is someone that, that they were blinded to something and now they're hurt. Or somebody could have lied on whoever this empress is to cause some type of um, depression for someone. Or somebody was lied to about somebody and now they're hurt. They could be depressed. Yeah, somebody is stuck in this nine of wands energy like feeling real guilty. Wow. You have the eight of wands. Somebody could have lied about a pregnancy. The empress is someone that's very fertile. Um, this could be someone that's pregnant. You have the eight of wands. And you have the tower. Yeah. Somebody have come to a major realization about something. And now they're stuck in this nine of wands, like very nervous, very guarded, you know, carrying around a lot of guilt. This person is feeling some type of way. You have the hair font. And then the six of swords. This could be some, some type of secrets that came out in some type of commitment. This could have been a marriage. This could have been a long-term relationship. And something had been revealed. Like some type of lie that was told. Something that they were avoiding to see. Um, something that they were, you know, somebody was covering up. And it's like, this is the perfect time for whoever that person is to set some type of healthy boundaries. Cause it's like that person had was, was, it's in this three of swords for a reason. It's like, they have to go to the four of swords. This person needs to rest. They need to recover. They need to, um, heal. And, um, retreat. It's like that person needs to isolate, have some time alone if this was a relationship or a commitment. Yeah, that person, whoever this person is, this person could have been in the energy of desperation and they have to let go of being so desperate in fear of being alone or something like that. Because they were blinded to something. And now it's like they're hurt. Because all of whatever they were blinded to or lied about or lied to about, it has all came to surface. This is somebody that feel like that, you know, they will be all out of options or something with, with love. This person does not realize that once they get their self out of whatever this situation is and move forward, that person would be able to, you know, not, not let love pass them by if they come out learning the lesson that they need to learn. Because everything happens in divine time. And it's like that person is going through some type of karma and maybe they don't know. If they were attached to somebody that, you know, betrayed them or hurt them, Something like that was lying to them, hiding a lot of stuff from them. Yeah, something has to end. The death card is here. It's like this person has to end a cycle out like something is over. And then you have the three of pentacles. Hold on one second. Yeah, and it's like the situation that this person is um, attached to is just at a dead end. And it could have been in that energy for a long time. It's like it's time for somebody to move on and let go. And they don't realize that all endings bring new beginnings. Yeah, they could have been, they could have felt chained and bound to whoever that person is. And this is why this person is in this nine of ones. Like they're in fear of something. Or they're afraid of being by their self, you know, isolating, taking time to heal. 
this person could be dealing with some type of trauma that they need to heal. And instead of healing it, they're keeping their self in a situation that's at a dead end. You have the two of cups. Yeah, it's like this person has to end out a cycle in order to be able to um be able to team with team up with someone that's that they um that's on a mutual level, like they are with this two of cups. It's like a mutual agreement, mutual feelings, mutual emotions. You know, this is their true two of cups that they will be able to partner up with. But yeah, this situation with the death card, it's like time to say goodbye. You have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, and it's like whoever that person is, this person could be very controlling. This is why the Empress is here. And the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. Like somebody could be very possessive, controlling, but um, codependent. And somebody feel like they're trapped. And the Eight of Swords isn't even out here. It's just the way that this Nine of Swords is coming off. Like that person could feel trapped and bound because they're dealing with some type of codependent issues. The person that they are attached to is very codependent to them and being possessive and controlling over a person. And if this isn't a person that they're attached to, this could be like an a environment. Wow. So you have the King of Pentacles, then you have the Three of Cups. And then you have the Sun. And whoever this King of Pentacles is, and then the Three of Cups. I mean, this person wants to reconcile with someone. This person wants to be in this the sun energy, like happiness. They want to be in a positive situation or something like that. And then you have the Star card. And then the Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. So, yeah. Somebody is dealing with all of this. But it's like... If this is you on the Six of Swords, you've moved forward from something. You've ended something out to start something new. You're getting ready to partner up with a Two of Cups. Like, um, this could be a soulmate. This is new love with the Ace of Cups coming toward you. You took time to heal. The Star card is here. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. This is someone who wants to be in a marriage with you. Or they're going to want to marry you. This is something. This is a positive person that wants to come towards you. And if this isn't the same person. Like if that person is in the energy where. If this isn't the same person that was dealing with this. And now they've ended something out. And they want to come towards you. This is a whole nother person. But somebody is dealing with some type of um, unrequited love. Or they were dealing with this. Take it where it resonates. So this could be two different people. But um, they were attached to somebody where their feelings were just not mutual. It's like one person was doing more for the other person. And somebody used that as a form to manipulate and control another person. It's like they played on that person's weakness. Maybe they knew that that person was someone that was um, traumatized in fear of being left behind. Dealing with some type of childhood trauma. Yeah, and they use that against that person to have control over that person. 
Yeah. And it's like this person didn't realize that they didn't need to waste their energy with someone that was just not available to them or interested in them. It was just more of codependency, control, manipulation. And that's it. Or just keeping another person bound and chained. You have the Eight of Cups. And then you have the Six of Cups. And then the Seven of Cups. Then you have the Hangman. It's like, yeah, if this person, if you were attached to this person in the past, you could have withdraw from that person. That person withdraw from the situation because they were confused in the past and did not know they were in this hangman energy. Like this person had to make a choice to release something, let go of something because they were in the seven of cups, like an illusion was placed over them. So, yeah, if you withdraw and you move forward, you got new love coming towards you. That person could be nervous as well because they were blinded to something that they didn't see in the past and now they're hurt. And they could feel like they needed to hold on to whoever that person is. But somebody don't know that they're holding on to karma. If they're, you know, still attached to whoever that person is that confused them in the past. Knight of Cups. And then you have the Six of Pentacles. This person could have also been wrapped up in some type of situation where they were stuck in the past with the hangman and seven of cups and they were trying to, you know, figure this out or some type of illusion was placed over that person to keep them stuck. You have the three of wands, six of pentacles and then knight of cups. So it's like that person have made some type of decision. This hangman does talk, talks about letting go and releasing something. So maybe this person have let go and release something. That was unrequited. And um, it's like that person needed to accept and love their self. That was the key. To, this, is, this is the key to maintaining and accepting, you know, true love. Being able to manifest their heart desires. But it's like now that person is like they want to come towards you or connect with you and balance something out. Six of Pentacles. They could want to give you something. It's like this person is looking, looking towards something. Looking forward to something with the Three of Wands being here. That person could be waiting for something. But yeah, somebody was holding on to a dead situation that was keeping them depressed. And as I said, I don't know why that came out, but somebody could have lied about a pregnancy and now somebody is hurt. Somebody could have lied about a miscarriage or something like that. And that came out. But yeah, somebody was just dealing with somebody that was not, they don't have the same feelings for them. They don't have the same emotions for them. Um, and it was just time for them to let that person go. Because they were keeping their self chained and bound to something where they were just getting karma. Staying stuck dealing with karma. And it's like that person is not interested in them. They're interested in whatever this person could do for them. Because one person is doing more for the other person. You have reconciliation. So reunion is here. Somebody wants to come towards you. This person wants a second chance. Then you have surrender. So it's like they let go and release something. It's like they gave up on something. But it's like that person needed to be patient with whatever they were doing. Because this surrender is like the hangman card. Like making a sacrifice. Letting go of something. Releasing something. Because they were blinded to something for a long time. It was a lot about whoever this person is that they never knew. No matter how long they were attached to this person. You have travel. And then single. 
Yeah, so somebody needed to let go of something, set healthy boundaries, and they needed to um, be more guarded. You have crossroads. Yeah, because somebody was keeping that person in the two of swords, like indecisive. Not being able to make a, a proper decision. Just standing at a stalemate crossroad, not knowing which way to go. If this person should choose a new love or should this person stay stuck and bound. Yeah. They have, they wanted this person to be at a crossroad from um, choosing a new beginning for their self. You have heartbreak. And then sometimes when people are in situations like this, they have gave their all to something that they have should you know shouldn't have gave their all to. They didn't get to know this person um, when they first got with that person. So it's like they started giving their all in the beginning, and that person didn't. It's like now they're finding out who that person truly is. This person is someone two of swords and the empress who have been wearing a mask this entire time. They just never knew because they came in a situation just giving their all. Never had a chance to get to know that person or never took out the time to get to know who they were dealing with. And this is how this person was able to manipulate, confuse that person, keep them stuck, keep them bound, play on their emotions and different things like that. You know, get a lot of, you know, get to know that person a lot to use whatever it is that that person had to went through against them. Play on their weaknesses. This person wasn't paying attention to it, though. You have faded meeting. And then you have finances. And then divine timing. So this, this somebody is hurt because um, somebody could be getting ready to come into some type of money with success being here and finances. This could also be money problems, so you have to take it where it resonates. Somebody could have got a new job or got a new job opportunity. And um, this was perfect timing for this person to do all of this, like end something out, um, have this success, get this new um, job opportunity or something like that. Because they're getting ready to, with the faded meeting, partner up with someone who they're destined to be partnered up with. And another person is disappointed and they're hurt. It's like they're grieving. You have music and then roll the dice. So yeah, somebody is getting ready to take a take a chance on something. It's like this is someone who wants um they want peace. This person wants harmony. This person could be someone that listens to a lot of music with music being here. This person could be a musician. You have legal matters. Like something is being balanced out. Justice is um, coming in for someone. Then you have addiction. And then snake. Liquid courage. They didn't have relationship. Wow. This is something serious. So whoever this person is, it's like this could be a divorce. Um, or this could be some type of uh, legal matter that needs to be balanced out. Like somebody was under judgment because they were attached to whoever this person is. Whoever the person is that is um getting ready to try to take a chance or something like that, a leap of faith. They could be ending up some type of legal situation. It's like they're trying to build up their confidence or they have built up their confidence and now they're being brave. This is someone who wants a true relationship with relationship being here. Commitment It's like they want their ideal partner. That person is accustomed to dealing with toxic attachments, people that are on drugs, people that drink a lot, people that, you know, have different obsessions, people that are just um, toxic. You know, they have toxic traits. They operate in low vibrational energy. And um, they run into deception. You know, people that are their enemies, but they keep this to a sword like a mask on. 
It's like they're constantly running into snakes. People that are very shady. But now it's like they want to take a chance on, um, you know, a committed relationship. Because somebody was jumping in relationships with people that they barely knew. And they didn't know what they were, you know, binding their self to. Yeah, somebody definitely wants commitment. It's like they want to be in a, a marriage. And it's like they want it to be a serious relationship where two people want the same thing. Two people are operating in the same energy. Yeah, this person wants a home. They want a family life. We have chemistry popping out. There's a mutual attraction between you and, the, you know, you and this person. This person has a, a strong sexual attraction towards you as well. And it's very strong. And it's like both you and this person are attracted to each other or. Um, and it's like a magnet with this chemistry being here. But you're not attached to this person. It's like that person was holding on to something because they were dealing with a lot of stuff that they were holding on to. And they needed to heal. You have intimacy. It's like this person is someone who craves intimacy. Maybe this person never had intimacy with another person. And, um, yeah. Because it says, allow yourself to become spiritually, emotionally, and physically intimate with one another. This is someone who wants to be at one with you. It's like that person could be someone that's very sensitive, but they hide it. This is someone that wants to be intimate with you. It's like they're so attracted to you, the way you look. Um, the energy that you walk in, that's what truly makes that person attracted to you. But that person have been wounded. It's like they've been wounded for a, like this nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior card. But that person have been wounded a lot of times. So it's like that person that they were attached to, they were trying to hold on to that person because they didn't want to be wounded again. So they were just keeping their self at a standstill, keeping their self guarded from what their heart truly desires. And that's true love. Yeah. It's like they stayed attached to the wrong person um, in a toxic karmic cycle because they were afraid of the same thing happening over and over and over again that they hadn't already went through. But yeah, something is at a dead end. It's like that person, they had to let go of this situation, learn how to set some healthy boundaries and stay isolated in order to be able to manifest new love, a new beginning, someone that's on the same page as them, someone that has a mutual attraction towards them, um, mutual feelings, mutual chemistry, different things like that where it's just not one-sided. And that person don't understand that in the past, that person placed some type of illusion over them, confused them. It's like they wanted that person to think that they genuinely cared for them, loved them, and that person, it was a one-sided relationship. One person was doing all of the work, another person was just sitting back, manipulating a person, playing on a person's weaknesses. Yeah. But it's like somebody needed to see something. Like somebody was not paying attention and they were avoiding something for a long time. Now it's like a tower moment happened. They had no choice but to um, see something. Like they had no choice but to release this person. Especially, you know, in the midst of divine timing. Like something was supposed to take place because this person has someone that they're, that they're meant to be with. And if this is you and you went through this, you have someone that you're meant to be with. 
but you have to be willing to be open to want to manifest what your heart truly desires. Take the time out to heal yourself. Um, set healthy boundaries. Yeah, and have the confidence and the strength to do so. Because people will continue to take your kindness for weakness. They'll keep being manipulative if you let them. People only do what you allow. 